everyone um, this is the second of my series of this week uh, this is a pick a video entirely of a convention I was a game convention I was at last week um, it's not as much well it's quite much but um, I just wanted to do a separate video just for the sake of it um, so a collector friend picked me up in the morning uh, we drove there it was quite a long ride um, and we actually got in before it opened because we knew one of the people who were selling there so we got we got in half an hour early um, so we started peeking around um, I actually went there with only trade material like 10 euros so the first thing I saw when I ran in was this this was priced seven and a half euros so I immediately picked it up so there went my budget <laughs> um, yeah uh, I really like the PS Vita I don't get why it's so underrated um, but yeah it's awesome <laughs> my fellow collectors were quite jealous um, so actually at the same stand I saw some really cool stuff but I didn't have any budget um, so I went straight on to my friend there um, I showed him all my stuff and he paid me uh, some money for for it I had some po uh, Pokemon cards loose and I sold all my Game Boys, which weren't in the box, since I'm going completely boxed only stuff. Um, I had several plate louds. I had like four colors, pockets, the Game Boy Color Pokemon Edition, um, and some games. Um, so he g gave me some money, and I went straight back to the to the first uh, stand where I picked up the Vita, and I picked up this gem, um, Mr. Quest. I've been looking for a really long time. Uh, on Game Boy for this but it's really hard to find and uh, if I find it's really overpriced like even sometimes 80 euros um, I've got the uh, Mystic Quest Legend on the SNES the big box and the small box um, for the people who don't know this is actually the first Final Fantasy and in uh, Europe this came out as Mystic Quest um, since the Final Fantasies didn't came out on Europe on Game Boy so I picked it up for 40 euro which is quite a lot of money but it's amazing condition and um, yeah I really had to have it um, next up my friends also uh, had some trade gear with him um, I paid the entry fee for him and actually he was like oh, I got a Game Boy game uh, don't you want to trade it then then it's then that's settled so I picked up this gem um, the scurvy spin ball uh, for the Game Boy but the Japanese version I don't understand Japanese and I will explain this later in the video I really really like these boxes um, I only have one other Japanese game for Mickey Mouse which I showed in my Game Boy collection video so this goes on with it um, next up at the same stand of the other two the Mystic Quest and the Vita game there was also this um, my friend immediately told me like you have to pick it up it was priced like 12 euros I think so but I didn't have the budget that's why I was I was quite sure it was gonna be gone uh, when I had the budget but it was still laying there I don't understand why nobody picked it up we is a bit underrated I think I underrated it myself till my friend showed me um, some really cool stuff uh, and it's amazing I'm really happy with it Also at the same stand, they had this Puyo Pop. Um, it's a crappy game on the end gauge. I'm going for the full set on the end gauge. I think I'm missing like nine games or something. I have them nearly all sealed. Um, and this was two euros, so I immediately picked it up. Um, well, when I went on, I also found this. Um, I over paid a bit I think first I thought it was a good price I think 12 or 15 euros and at the next stand we found it for five but I never regret my my buys and I'm still really amazed by the cover art and the game so still really cool game so we found the German stand um, they had some amazing Saturn games shoot em ups uh, mostly Japanese games um, which don't really attract to me at all uh, the Japanese shoot em ups but my friend who was with me they are really known for the Japanese collecting so he, he bought a lot of games there and then 
under the cabinets I saw some one box with some other games uh, and I saw the amazing spider-man on Game Boy complete in the box and I asked him at first it was like 20 I was like yeah no and since I didn't have the budget um, and I just wanted to know from my friend because he wants to collect and on the other hand he doesn't want to collect the Game Boy games he has quite a lot and nice ones um, but in the end we went back and then I then I got it off to 15 and my friend was doubting it and then I saw this Pinocchio it's a German one uh, but the game is in English of course um, and then I was thinking what I was gonna do and then I actually quite ballsy asked the guy like do you want to do 20 for both he said Le like yeah sure I'm not gonna get these sold anyway since we since my friend bought all the Saturn games so we got the amazing spider-man and Pinocchio for 10 each and um, he took home the amazing spider-man and I took home Pinocchio I'll find spider-man another time so 10 bucks this is a steal what I also found is this uh, total carnage not the cheapest game not the best game either uh, but I'm really happy it's in my collection I think I paid 30 or something for it so it's got I'm gonna snuck fit it and go straight into the collection okay um, I also did a trade there with a friend uh, from the collectors groups um, so I got quite some stuff from him so I'm gonna show it first of all SimCity SNES been looking for it for a really long time it's in quite good condition some wear and tear so I paid a fair price for it so in a snug fit anything goes I also got the filler for the PS1 I always like tennis games but this one's not as good as Top Spin, in my opinion. Um, I've just gotten into Mega Drive and Master System collecting. I, I don't really like to call it collecting since I'm not really into them yet, but trying to gather as much as I, I can before the the hype really starts off and the prices go batshit on, on the Sega games too. So, since I really like them, but I prefer playing Nintendo, I'll say it like that. So, I picked up Double Dragon on the Master System. Goals and Ghosts. I just traded my Mega Drive or Genesis title Goals and Ghosts for the Game Boy lot. So I'll be getting that back. But Bomber Raid. Donald Duck. Always nice. Ace of Aces. Shinobi. Classic for a lot of people. For the Mega Drive, Pit Fighter, these are more fillers if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Altered Beast is not really a filler, it's still a cool game. King of the Monsters really reminds me of Captain America. Maybe I should do some more research on the game. Because I think it looks cool. Urban Strike, a lot of people play this when they were kids. Rumbo Tree. And general chaos I actually like the cover art and the art in, in total so I actually might play this so um, I also had like like I said I have Game Boy Micros with me and stuff so there's this one guy at, the con at each convention which I always go to with my trade material because he's actually quite nice uh, when, when it comes to trading he wants to give the full trade price for it and doesn't try to bargain that hard so when we came in I already saw all his stuff and I, I knew I had to go there um, so I picked up a lot of things um, and I'll try to explain why I don't know myself yet uh, first of all Pokemon Stadium Japanese on the N64 why first it's Pokemon uh, why do you pick up Japanese games I have no clue at all I really like the cover art um, do I speak Japanese no will I ever try to learn it no why do you collected I have no fucking idea um, I have some N64 games already in Japanese <sighs> I just like N64 and it's Pokemon and the box is way cooler so this is another Japanese uh, exclusive uh, for the N64 it's hey you Pikachu big box uh, it's complete it has a microphone you have to yell Japanese commands at Pikachu um, I'm not gonna try to do a Japanese expression or I'll fail myself uh, I do watch some animes and stuff, but I would completely not 
and title myself an expert at things like that. So again, why it's Pikachu, why it's N64, and I really like covers of N64 stuff, of Japanese things in general. Um, this is why I picked up what I'm gonna show you now. Uh, don't judge me. Um, this is an N64 game, baseball. Bomberman 2 on the N64 in Japanese. Another baseball game. These are quite cheap. Um, actually, I really like that I picked these up. Um, you know, Mario Party 2 and 3 are quite expensive on Paul. 2 is like around 45, 50, even going 60 on some sites. And 3 is totally out of control, going to 100. So I picked up Mario Party 1, 2, and 3 together for like 30 euros trade material or something so I'm really happy uh, another game that's really expensive on the N64 which I don't have Paul yet is Paper Mario so this is the N64 version um, I might try to do some ROM modding so I can play it in English um, or just play it on my PC with an emulator but these cover arts bro that's why I have these they're amazing um, also picked up Star Wars N64 Japanese. Why Star Wars? No, no need in any explanation. Uh, don't need an explanation on that. So that's genius. Um, and then the last thing I actually traded with him is this PS2. It's the slim version. I didn't have that there. I have the white with the blue box coming from another collector, and I have the big box. Uh, I have the the fat one boxed, but not this one. So that's why I have it. Um, these were actually uh, all the games I traded and bought at the convention. Uh, I saw some amazing stuff. I saw Castlevania for 25 euros, Paul on the N64. I'm still missing it, but hey, no budget. Uh, another time um, since I started freelancing again this week, so I'll be buying some games soon. Um, so you'll hear more about me. So see you soon. Thanks for watching.